So I've just been sent a viewers and tactics and instructions to see if they're actually any good at the high levels of division rivals. I thought, screw it, that seems kind of fun, let's go ahead and do it. Now the formation in question is the 4-3-2-1. Now we've made many videos over this before, however, not with this many specific instructions and tactics. I mean, it's, it's a lot. One of them being the depth at 95. I've never gone higher than 70, so I don't know what the hell is gonna happen here, but I guess we're gonna find out. The other defensive tactics are pretty tame with 45 width and then balanced defensive style. For the offense though, we go a little bit more specific. Long ball for the build that play, direct passing for the chance creation 40 with four for players in the box and quarters of free kicks i'm assuming you can do whatever the hell you want for the instructions we have the goalkeeper on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper the center backs on default everything the right back on stay back while attacking and then the left back on join the attack the left center mid is on cover center the central center mid is on stay back while attacking cover center and then the right center mid is on just default and balanced everything and then for the attack the right forward is on default balanced everything the central strikers on stay central target man stay forward and then the left forward is on comeback on the defense most likely to cover the left back who was on join the attack. Now, if you want to switch things around, feel free to. If you want your right back on join the attack, your right forward on comeback on defense, feel free to, as long as everything is coordinated correctly. Along with this, he specifically said to avoid high-low players up top as they may be running too soon and just not be positioning well. So to go along with that, I have Berardi who has high medium, I have Insigne who is high medium, and I also have Butragueno who is medium low. Now, if you want me to review your tags and instructions, feel free to send them my way if you want them to actually have an opinion or if you just want me to look like an idiot. Feel Feel free to do that. Let me lose. Let me look like the idiot. Now, without further ado, let's go into the depths of hell of Division Rivals to see if these tactics are actually any good. Holy sh**. A really, really, this dude has the luckiest reds of all time with the ball up top. What the hell is that? 4 3 2 1, 95 depth, everyone going forward. Let's see if it's actually any good. Good interception. I'm assuming this is going to be more of like a counter attacking formation. He was off. The high depth working out perfect. Up and over, perfect. There's that's that it's a great run from left back. Can we whip it in to Veghorse? He's tall. It's okay. Where's Mateus? Thank you. Very good. We have everyone in the line, but that's fine because now we have Butcher through. Awesome. Get to Veghorse. Very good. I think you need someone who can shoot on these center mid spots. Oh, out wide. That's perfect. Yes. And we got Veghorse. This should be a goal. No, he missed. <laughs> There's our left forward coming back for the defense. That's so helpful. There's Boutra. There's Insigne. And we just can't... Oh my god. Just score. Just please. Just please. Thank god. Finally got a shot off. And look, we scored. No. No kickoff. No kickoff. No kickoff. Oh, Mateus. Good. Oh, send him. Yes. One more. Thank you. That's an easy goal. Thank you very much. There's no way. There's no... It's 2-0, my guy. Why are you quitting at 2-0? All right. Well, guess we gotta play another game then. You know, I heard a donkey fell into a bowl of sugar. Now that's a sweet ass. Oh, that's a good pass. All right, let's start this, please. Oh my god, there's so much space here. This is looking good. This could be a good formation against those five or three at the back, boys. Look at this space, dude. Like, we still have it here. We still- Oh my god, that's too- It's too easy against the three or five at the back. A lot of space we give up in the middle, but I think with the high depth, that helps a lot. Unless the game just allows them to go through with nothing. There we go. And then we can break easily. We can just break like this. Look at this. Oh my god. It's- It's- Okay. All right, yep. Yep, just like that. This is a very good counter attacking formation. Saliba, good. And then we break again, and already we're going on the counterattack. Hey, I'm finding out you need very good defenders if you really want to stop it. Otherwise, you are not going to be in a good time. Yes! It's just wide open every time. The left and right forwards are open every time. Look at this. It's, it's literally like we have thousands of people up top. They have no one. Who needs ligaments to play a sport? Zhao, love that. Very good. And now we can hit him on the break yet again. Fake course, almost. That's in that's incredibly lucky. But we got this. We go back post. We have Utra. Who heads it? And then that's a goal. Left and right forwards open all day against a three at the back. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, are you actually kidding me? No, we're not even that defensive. Again, we have... Oh my sweet Jesus. What is happening? So we scored almost every single goal off of a counterattack. One was from a press, which we immediately won back and scored. The other three were just straight up counterattacks. Long ball to Insigne, wide open. Through ball and long ball to Insigne, he's wide open. Then we have Butra, who we still get it to Insigne, which was, again, lucky. But then back post, again, our left forward, wide open. Left and right forwards are massive in this. It's because we don't have high-low work rates. Now, I know I only showed two games, but I actually played around 9 or 10, and I can tell you I have a good feeling about this formation. It's very good. It is obviously a little bit more susceptible defensively because you have one left back just bombing up the field to join the attack, and then the player covering it is obviously an attacker, so it's not going to be 
very good anyway. We also don't have all the three center mids coming back. It's only one of them. So yes, it is a little bit more defensively susceptible. So make sure you have good defenders like Team of the Year, Ruben Diaz. We have obviously a prime moments, Carlos Alberto to help out defensively, a team of the season, Saliba. So make sure you have good defenders back. Make sure your left and right forwards are god tier. So Butragueno and Insigne, maybe even Butragueno could be upgraded a little bit because he was not as good, I would say, as Insigne. Make sure they're amazing. Otherwise, they're not going to be as good uh, offensively as you could be if they were even better. Make sure left and right center mids can actually shoot the ball. So Veghorst, Bernardo Silva, those are perfect examples. They can kind of do everything in the attack. That's great. And also make sure not to use high-low work rates. I did put in Diaby to try to test it because he himself has high-low work rates. And while he was still fine because he's obviously good, he wasn't at the level of Insigne or at Butragueno. And again, it's because he was making runs too early like the person who sent it in to me said. So that is going to do it for this video. And if you do want me to review yours, make sure to send your instructions and tactics to me either through Twitter or in the comments down below. Either way works for me. But like I said, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace.